Yo, what's going on, ladies and gents? My name is Arbuckle. Welcome back to another video. Today, we are once again back on Modern Warfare, and I wanted to share with you guys the best class setup for the new X16 Gem Cutter Blueprint. Uh, this is a legendary one and a pretty decent one. Uh, if you guys take a look at the attachments that come with the original blueprint, you'll see that we get a nice boost to accuracy, range, and fire rate. However, we end up losing a ton of mobility, and nothing really happens to our control, which we can fix. Uh, if you guys take a look at the class setup that I'm going to share with you, you'll see that stats wise, we still get a nice accuracy range and fire rate boost however we don't lose any mobility and we actually get a pretty significant control boost as well so obviously a much better class setup uh, if you guys take a look at the attachments we're not going to be using a muzzle the barrel that we're using is the vanguard elite so with this we're getting damage range bullet velocity and recoil control we get a nice accuracy range and control boost uh, so obviously a really powerful attachment for the x16 here the laser that we're going to be using is the TAC laser, so this is going to improve our aim down sight speed, make up for the loss of aim down sight speed in the last attachment. We get aiming stability and aim walking steadiness, obviously giving us a boost to accuracy, mobility, and control. Uh, the laser is visible to enemies, however, we are using this as a secondary, so we're most likely already going to be spotted by the time we pull this thing out. So having that uh, laser visible to enemies con is not really a big deal. We're not going to be using an optic. I don't think that this uh, specific pistol, the X16, needs an optic. I think it's pretty accurate and, and has a really good iron sight. So don't want to waste uh, losing aim down sight speed with another optic. The trigger that we're using is the match grade trigger. So with this, we're getting fire rate and aiming stability. The main purpose of this trigger is to boost that fire rate so that we can get more shots off. Uh, we get a huge boost to fire rate, obviously, and we get a small boost in control, which is really, really nice. We don't are not using any extra ammunition. We don't really need it with the the X16. Uh, the rear grip that we're using is rubberized grip tape. So this is to help improve our accuracy even more. We get recoil control with this. Uh, so obviously we get a massive boost to accuracy. We lose a little bit of control here, but in the long run we actually have a pretty major control boost. So it's not that big of a deal. And last but not least, the perk that we're using is sleight of hand. So. I like having sleight of hand on a lot of my pistols, uh, especially like this gun and the Deagle. Being able to reload really quick is really clutch, and uh, I think sleight of hand is a really good attachment to have for this specific pistol. But uh, if you don't want to use sleight of hand and you would rather have an optic, I would recommend getting rid of the perk sleight of hand to, to put your optic on. But for this class setup, we're not going to be using an optic. I don't think it's necessary, but uh, I'll give you guys one last look at all of the attachments and uh, the stats that come with this class setup. If you guys have any questions about this specific class setup or the original blueprint, make Make sure to leave them down in the comment section below and I'll be sure and try to help some of you guys out. I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I'll see all you guys in the next. Yeah. Can we be friends?